Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, many thanks to Professor Grazzi for inviting Indire to this interesting round table. I'm very sorry I can't be with you, but thanks to technology, here I am. Since its foundation, first as a pedagogic library in the 1980s, uh, then as a national school agency, and finally as Indire, this institute has been involved in researching the role of technologies in education. Today, even more, our mission is to research and develop innovative pedagogical approaches which integrate technolo technologically enhanced tools and resources to daily teaching and learning practices. Let me give you some examples. We are collaborating uh, with and su supporting several schools in their process of integrating technology in the day-to-day -day teaching uh, within the digital school program. In the past few years, we have trained several teachers on the use of digital whiteboard and other digital tools and resources. Uh, and we've also created platforms on our website where we share digital contents and innovative teaching practices. Today, education is clearly undergoing a dramatic transformation. From the incorporation of mobile devices with their anywhere, anytime access to information, to the rapidly growing presence of tablet devices and digital books. The future seems quite clear and imminent. A future in which students carry course texts and personal media in a digital backpack that is light, fun to use, enjoyable for reading and always connected to information and friends. Schools and government are investing in new IT devices and digital resources and they are also training teachers to use all this new technology. The reaction from the education world is twofold. Some are enthusiastic and welcome the arrival of this digital eruption in the school world. Others prefer to revert back to their blackboards, photocopies and textbooks, ignoring what is happening around them. Drawing from the abundant research carried out on this topic, it is clear that the real challenge is to bring the current debate on digital education beyond the argument on whether media-rich textbooks are better than traditional textbooks. The focus should be on how to effectively exploit the pedagogical potential of these new technologies. In other words, how media-rich textbooks can trigger the development of new innovative teaching and learning practices. These days, ebooks are becoming more and more popular among students, teachers, parents. Of course, they are new, they are different, fun to use, light to carry. It is common belief today that digital books are better than traditional textbooks because content is easily and quickly accessible. It is flexible, it is versatile, you can, you can manipulate it, uh, it is interactive, it is de democratic, you can access a vast amount of valuable information today on the internet. It is collective because the content is easily shared on the cloud. However, we need to reflect upon the definition of digital textbooks or media-rich textbooks before jumping to any conclusion. If we migrate the content of a traditional textbook in a PDF or other digital format and we add pictures, web links, video to make it more inviting. My question is, have we really created a digital book which will enhance the learning process? Certainly will be more fun and motivating than turning pages in a book, but will it empower our students to construct their knowledge in an active way? Will it enrich more the learning experience? Will it be more effective in processing and internalizing new information? Recently, uh, during a conference in London organized by the group Learning Without Frontiers, Noam Chomsky said that you cannot expect somebody to become a biologist by making available the entire Harvard biology library. In other words, 
You cannot expect students to be better learner by simply making the content digital. The real focus here is not on the device itself, but on how we use it to stimulate an innovative and effective learning experience. At Indire, we consider the digital book not simply as, as an innovative tool and teaching resource, but as an opportunity to create a new learning space where students and teachers actively collaborate in the learning process. The challenge is not how to use the digital book or whether to prefer it to the traditional book, but the real challenge we feel is to seize the opportunity to reconceptualize the delivery of educational content. At Indira, we are supporting schools and research projects that are trying to deliver an innovative and resilient learning experience where the students and the teachers are the agents in the learning process, where textbooks or other type of resources are created by the teachers or by the students or by a group of schools and then shared on the cloud. Indira's role in this transformation is to provide schools with a solid scientific research and evidence and the necessary training in technology to take advantage of this unique opportunity. Uh, thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the round table and I'm sure that Professor Grazzi will make my email available for any comments or question. Goodbye.